Carlo Almiente. Good, I know how to pronounce that now when I'm 29 years old. <laughs> Carlo, welcome to the Brisbane Roar. Thank you. Um, let's talk about the junior club. Yeah, so I was from Adelaide, Adelaide Boys, so I played for Adelaide City. So yeah, they have a little bit of history behind them. And then yeah, I went through the Adelaide United Youth Team. I was there for a couple of years and went into the first team set up. And then ended up at Perth for three years and I loved every minute there. And then yeah, this year I'm head down to Brisbane. Talk about going from one to one. Yeah, I've been all over the place, but yeah. Um, do you have a pre-match routine or a superstition no, not really. It's just probably the pasta the night before and the pasta the day of the game. But yeah, that's probably, that's probably it. Pretty. Well, coming over from LA to Perth, mum actually came over at the start and made all my sauces, so it was a lot easier for me. But then, yeah, I just defrost it, cook the pasta, and off I go. Give us your top three artists or bands. Interesting. Um, Coldplay would be up there. Yeah, Coldplay. Oh, my girlfriend got me onto Justin Bieber. We were actually meant to go to the concert in Perth, but now I've obviously come over, so I've broken heart there. But yeah, probably Coldplay is one of my favourite. What are your hobbies outside of Perth? Like, like tennis, fishing. I love fishing, so yeah, I, got out crab I go out crabbing quite a bit. Perth is beautiful for fishing as well, so yeah, probably fishing is my probably major one. If there was a movie about your life, who would play you? Who would play me? That's an interesting question. Uh, what actor would you love to see play you? I don't know. I, I actually don't, I, I couldn't answer that question. There's too many out there, I don't know. That's, you got me in there. Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what superpower would you want to have and why? I think from the last three years, teleportation, because travelling from Perth to everywhere, it's a long flight, so yeah, that's probably one superpower I would have in the last couple of years. What's a saying or a catchphrase that you say a lot? I think the last year, everything happens for a reason, because I've done my knee two times now when I was 15 and now the last year, so I think I was a big believer, like, everything happens for a reason, and yeah, I'm here now, so everything happens for a reason. Nice, all right. The best piece of advice you've ever been given? To control what you can control. Control the controllables. I think if you worry about other, all the other bits and pieces that comes along with sport and it's life, I think you're, you don't get the best out of yourself. So yeah, control what you control and I'm sure the best will happen. You haven't had your first away trip with the team yet, but when you do, you'll have to get up and sing. Yeah, I'm dreading that. What, what's your song? What's your karaoke song? In Perth, I sung Never Tear Us Apart. I'm a massive Port fan in the AFL. So that's their song before like coming out. So yeah, that's I just went to that. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to sing here. Yeah, a bit in excess. Um, if you were a uh, uh, who's your sporting idol? Sporting idol, idol it's probably Suarez. When he was back, I'm a Liverpool fan. So yeah, when he was scoring goals for Liverpool, I was a young kid back then. So yeah, I was probably waking up every morning watching him play, scoring goals. So yeah, probably Suarez. Obviously, following the A League like you have over the years, being a young player, growing up. Yeah. What are you most excited about with the Brisbane Wall and joining our club? I think the culture and the, the identity behind the club. It's a big club and I think it's, they should be back at the top. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing well, helping the team and yeah, getting back to the top. Mate, we're looking forward to seeing you out there on the field. Welcome to the Brisbane Wall. Thank you.